Good morning. This minute devotion deals with the subject of unity. Minute number 1,210. When I was a teen, I had the privilege of going on a summer mission trip with Teen Missions International. That summer, I found out that Teen Missions was very concerned with unifying all the teens on each team. We had 32 on ours. In order for this to happen, there were certain subjects that we were encouraged not to visit. Things like denominational issues and perhaps even political leanings. We were also put into some controlled circumstances, such as an obstacle course, that first forced us to work together to cause team building. All of this was because team missions understood the importance and power of unity. Paul also understood this and points out in Colossians 2.2 that love is the ultimate unifier. Why? Because if we truly love one another, we don't have to force our will, thoughts, opinions on others. We learn to accept others for who they are. Does this acceptance mean that we endorse everything someone does? Of course not. Instead, this type of unity sets the tone of the room. If you want to share with others the reasons you think, do, and feel as you do, they will be more open to discussion when it's clothed in love. After all, united we stand. If you enjoyed this minute and would like to receive them each morning in your inbox, go to susan-grant.com and scroll halfway down the page and fill in the form there and then verify in your email. I would love to see you each morning. Have a good day.